Hello folks, uh, what I'm going to do right now since it's not lagging is show you a little bit about leather making. Not actually working with the leather, but turning your hide into leather. Now the first thing you do is you make three barrels, which is basically putting planks here. Now the first thing we have to do is fill one of the barrels with limestone. The other one gets filled up with water. The other one gets filled up with tantine, which uh, basically fill it up with water and then you throw a log in there and seal it. But lime water is made by crushing certain rocks into flecks, like chalk and marble. You need eight of those for eight barrels. So put that there. And. And. Doo -doo -doo. Piggy Piggy's making noise. I'm organizing this because when it comes time to collect water, I want them all in a little row. So, what you do, let's go here, and you put it in. And if it's not getting too laggy and you're not aiming at the wrong place, hey, there it goes. Very small targeting area on the new, I think they're doing it just so you lose patience or at least develop some sort of skill with the mouse. See it's already half full. So I want more lime water which means I need more water. Now you fill up ah, you fill up the other one. Whoa! Alright. And I've actually had an accident where I tried to close something and flooded this area. So I'm going to keep those out of my hand. Now, you don't need, once you had the flux, you could do this too. See, you don't have to do a working bench. Uh, you could probably crush it in your own personal area too. But you definitely need a crafting bench to do the barrels. So, boop. And it does click, but it won't click if something's in there, obviously. And so that's sealed. Now, if you had 12 hides, it's always going to jump out, isn't it? There it is, yes. If you had uh, 12 hides, 12 of those, and you skinned them, took the, if they're sheepskin, just use a knife and take the wool off. It will not look like that off the skin. You'll actually have to uh, get a, uh, a where is it? A spindle to turn wool into wool yarn. Wool yarn will work for arrow, uh, excuse me, bows, but will not make fishing poles. I have no idea why. But now we fill this one with water and that one with water and uh, a log and they want to sleep and uh, that will be safe for collecting water they're getting off now sparkles wonder if he's uh... Oh. alright let me go get the I'm hungry and I'm thirsty Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Now the thing is, I've lined it up from left to right in the stages in which you uh, turn. Hide into leather. So you'd put the first one into the limestone and seal it, and once it's finished, it'd come out. You would then use a stone knife, I believe at that point, to work it on a bench, and then put it in the water. Once it's soaked, and once again, you'll seal it, and it won't let you get the uh, product until it's finished. Then you would open it, 
and put it into the uh, put it in there and seal it and then you'd end up with leather now if anybody needs leather they usually come for me I will trade fuel for it I'll trade anything for it I'm not picky about it I know people need beds and to be honest leather armor is not the best armor so I'm not gonna make people pay for it I usually make them just pay for like a little bit of fuel and uh, they I also ask for le uh, hide so once I get 12 hide I'll usually make the leather make the leather armor for people uh, so that's why I'm a little grumpy when I hear about stealing or when I think stealing I, I wish to apologize to the server I'm pretty sure nobody stole my tin ingots I'm pretty sure that's my fault uh, you know my lag and uh, such can I uh, collect water from you? Yeah, I can Ooh. There. Uh, but there are people stealing things and there are other people in this community who are starting to talk about lynching which technically I don't think rope will work that way doesn't mean they're not going to try to uh, burn your house down uh, take your horses we don't have horses yet but you know you know one day they will be horses maybe not in this one but you know because if there are horses they'll make us work to train them they won't be this easy oh you just have to ride on them a few times um, there's gonna be probably a whole 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 my buckets are just leaving me where are my buckets? They're in the water. They're in the water, aren't they? Yes, they're in there. Come here. There you go. So the uh, barrel is now full. Now I do the same thing with this one. And then I put a log in it. A log, yes. Because logs have many properties. Uh, you know, the British uh, naval history is about making sure you had enough wood. Maine was very important, or at least that that part was actually Massachusetts at the time, because they got a lot of their trees for the uh, sails, the mass. Oh, not a source. All right. And uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. here you go. And uh, I'm gonna run out of water soon. <laughs> And the southern states, the southern colonies, actually they uh, burnt the trees and made, oh, it was, uh, I think it was this. They made chemicals from the tree sap, not just tar. Stop that. Oh, I could, I could click. Okay, there's still a little in there. So I have to completely empty it. All right, there it is. And. See, sometimes it doesn't want to click. I don't know why. That is a little faster. Boy, bad at that. Alright. I'm really probably pissing people off by uh, making this water all. See, in vanilla Minecraft, doesn't it just go back to normal? I don't want to flood my basement again. People have used the uh, guest room here. Uh, a couple people find themselves dealing with me, and then suddenly it's nightfall, and they're like, "You know, why, why go all the way through the, you know, infested monster, infested uh, forest when they could just stay at my place?" And also in this one, I'm not sure once again if this is vanilla Minecraft or just this. But if they have armor on, you seal it. There you go. You have armor on. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna fill these with water. But that's how you prepare to. Pre really, I feel like one of the stooges. Uh, that's how you prepare to do leather. <laughs> the doors tried to kill me. Now I. Uh, I did have things growing out here, but I was afraid that, uh, frankly, to be honest, there's too many monsters running around this place sometimes. I have a lot of lights out here, and there's still just too many monsters. And I was afraid of people, to be honest, uh, you know, they're, they're taking from the farm. Why would they bother to not steal from somebody who's just planted out there about a fence or anything? So, kind of worried about my pig. I mean, I found this pig, I, I, I looked around all over the place for this pig. Oh, I probably shouldn't hold pork in my hand while I'm talking to the pig. 
And uh, I found it actually near the fort. I heard it yoinking and I realized <gasps> it's the pig near the fort that nobody kills because they assume it belongs to somebody or it's become a mascot. I don't know. But I like to call... Uh, are you a him or her? You're a female. I like to call her Forty because she was at the fort. Not Farty. Forty. Like 42 or 49 or whatever you want to say. Okay, folks. Uh, this was probably as boring as heck, but uh, maybe you learned a little bit about leather and pigs and not stealing and uh, trolly, watery things that really makes it interesting to live here. Uh, I've actually found monsters trapped here. Literally just bounce up. There's a creeper here once. He just bounced up and down. He couldn't get out. He knew I was there. He saw me. And he blew up right there because I kept on charging him and hitting him with the sword and running back. And he blew up and didn't do anything damage to anybody. Also found a zombie here once. And once again, now I am babbling. So, uh, bye-bye.